this video we are going to explain about android malware detection using genetic algorithm based optimized feature selection and machine learning introduction android being an open source are freely accessible operating system allows the developers to create and publish apps on play store without any cost however this open nature of android also attracts the cyber criminals who exploit it by developing and disturbing malware infected apps through the play store These malware apps pose a significant threat to the users as they have the potential to steal the information from the user's device and transfer it to the cyber criminal. Additionally, they can grant the unauthorized control of the entire phone to the hands of the criminals, putting the user's privacy and security at risk. To protect the users from such malicious apps, machine learning algorithms are being employed. Objective This project aims to address the issue of malware on the Android platform by utilizing a machine learning algorithm for detection using machine learning algorithms specifically support vector machine and neural network to detect malware in mobile apps by extracting the features from the apps using a dataset a training model is built using SVM also aiming to use the genetic algorithm to select important features and remove unimportant ones during the dataset size and speeding up the model and optimize the training process requirements for execution of the project hardware requirements and software requirements are needed in hardware requirements operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 4 gb and above hard disk of 20 gb and above are required python ide l of 3.7 version is required as a software requirement methodology we have designed eight modules for execution of the project in first module we will be uploading the malware dataset for the application second module generate the train and test model in this model we will be splitting the data into train and test dataset of 80 and 20 ratio uh next module we will be running the svm algorithm here the process train data will be used to Uh, as a input to SVM algorithm to predict the model, and this model will be applied on 20% of the test data set to compute the SVM prediction accuracy. Similarly, we will run the SVM algorithm with genetic algorithm, neural network algorithm, neural network with the genetic algorithm, and then in the seventh module we will be comparing the accuracy graphs, and then we will be checking execution time of the models. Execution. For execution of the project, first we need to open the main code folder. So this is the main code folder of the project. This is the data set. This is the Android data set. On this data, we are going to build the model. This is the test data set. This is the main code file, which contains the Python script in it, and this is the run dot bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we create the Windows bat file to execute the project. So double click on it for the execution purpose. So this is the graphical user interface of the project. With this, we can interact with the program. So first step, we need to upload the Android malware dataset. So click on this uh, upload Android malware button dataset. So we are going to select the data set click on open data set is uploaded now we will be splitting the data into train and test so click on the button generate train and test model here the data is splitted into train and test training length is 3339 and test length is 760 total records are 3799 now we are going to run svm algorithm so this is the classification report of the svm algorithm next we will be running the svm with the genetic algorithm by clicking on that we are opened with the multiple windows so close it So this is the accuracy of the SVM with the genetic algorithm and this is the classification report of that. 
Next, we will be running the neural network algorithm. So, this is the accuracy of neural network algorithm. Next, we will be running the neural network with genetic algorithm. So this is the accuracy for the neural network with genetic algorithm. Now we will be comparing all the algorithms graph. So click on the accuracy graph button to compare the graphs. So on the x axis algorithm names are represented on the y axis values are represented. So SVM, uh, SVM accuracy and uh, neural network accuracy is very high than SVM genetic accuracy with uh, SVM with genetic algorithm and neural network with genetic algorithm. So close this graph. Next we will be checking the execution time of the graph. So uh, this is the uh, on the x-axis we are having the algorithm names on y-axis we are having the time limits. So for uh, SVM time, SVM genetic time and neural network time and in genetic time is represented here. Close this. Conclusion As a project aim was to address the issue of malware in Android applications by using machine learning algorithms for detection. To protect the users, machine learning algorithms including support vector machine, neural network and integrated with genetic algorithm for feature optimization, the results showed SVM and neural network without the genetic algorithm achieved the high accuracy in detecting the malware. Uh, additionally, the genetic algorithm helps reduce the execution time for the model building. This ML algorithm contributes to enhancing mobile security and mitigating the risk associated with the malware infected Android apps. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.